Hello everybody. Okay, today then I'm going to move on to doing the exhaust arrangement and the blast nozzle. Uh, so, I've had a look around my me, me stock of materials and because I like recycling things, I've not, I've not actually got any of this half inch diameter tubing. And I like to recycle things wherever possible. So, I've looked in my boxes and I've got these old bronze valves out my old out my BMW motorbike which which have had laying about for ages. So the centre tube here is half inch diameter with a thirteen thirty second bore. So if I if I turn these old valves down to half inch diameter, three of them, put a little spigot on I can then silver solder them together and then that will give me my centre tube then my two outer tubes here that go into my cylinder so my cylinders will be bolted onto the side of the frame here so these two tubes go into the cylinder I've got two more of those valves that will turn down to half inch to, for them two components then I've got this piece of uh, what is it? Three quarter brass for the centre portion. That's got to be turned down to five eighths OD. So I'll cut that and turn that down to five eighths. Put all the the appropriate threads on, etc. And then the two locking nuts there. I've found this lump of hexagonal brass I've had laying about with my workshop for years. The hexagon is just a bit slightly too big on the hexagon, but that that don't matter. It's only a locking. It's only for a locking nut, and it won't interfere with anything. So I can use that for my locking nuts. So I've got all my materials there now. It's just a matter of turning them down. I've got all my components made. I've recycled my BMW valve guides. Uh, so I've just got to silver solder these together to get the centre tube then this blast nozzle once it's got, gone into the smoke box this tube that's, that screws onto the top then I've got to uh, silver solder this tube to this centre bottom tube then I've got to put my lock nuts on here Then according to the right up in the book you have to screw these two components as far into the cylinders as they'll go through the frame into the cylinders then this centre tube then you just back it off from your cylinders into this centre tube same on both sides now once you've split the difference between your cylinders and this tube you can then lock them lock nuts off and that's it I've just got to move on to silver soldering next oh and I've been polishing my chimney up if you didn't see me do that chimney take a look back in one of my last previous videos yeah, I've silver soldered it together I'm just in process of polishing it up. Silver soldering. Right, before I silver solder, I make sure that all my joints are clean and I just use wire wool to clean, thoroughly clean all the parts. Then I use brake cleaner to degrease the part and then I put this JMMM Easy Flow Flux on once I've mixed it up with a bit of water so I'll just flux all these parts and then we'll carry on and do a bit of silver soldering You want to avoid getting flux on parts that you don't want silver solder to flow on.
I say it'll just let that cool down naturally and uh, clean it up and we'll have a look at it. That's it, that's my exhaust arrangement completed with the blast nozzle on. Uh, all made from recycled motorcycle valve guides. One, two, three, four, five, and then a little bit of five eighths brass for in the middle and two locking nuts. And what that does then, it just imagine your frames are here and imagine smoke boxes aren't loco. I've just painted my smoke box. Uh, so here's your frames where my hands are. This is going to sit between frames. So there's my frames and then blast pipe, blast nozzle will just screw on top. And just one word of advice, not from me, from the book that I'm reading, is make sure you make all your threads a nice loose fit because when you're in frames at loco you've got to fiddle about with these with your fingers so you don't want tight fit that's it then for this little part uh, I'll move on to the next part now I don't know I don't know I don't know what it's going to be what I do next um, I'll just look at the button and take it from there so if you've not seen my other videos of me making chimney and shrouds and smoke box etc etc they're my most recent ones take a look at them if you're interested and, uh, and if not I'll catch you on my next video thanks for watching then bye for now